It's good to have you back. This is the East South African Morning in a remarkable archaeological find. Researchers have discovered the very first partial skull of a homo and a lady child. It was found in the depths of the rising star cave in the cradle of humankind world heritage site. Now, the child was between four and six years old when it died with baby teeth intact and adult teeth starting to emerge. The remains have been named Leti for uh, Leti Mela, meaning the lost one. Uh, researchers really find fossilized remains of children as their bones are too thin and fragile to survive. Uh, the international team, however, was led by Professor Lee Berger from WITS, who joins us now for this conversation. Prof, good to have you, and uh, good morning. I mean, I, I want to talk about this and how exciting perhaps it has been for you and your team, but first I want to quote you. I mean, you say, Homo and Lady remains one of the most enigmatic ancient human relatives ever discovered. Why do you say so? Well, you've got a species that's out of time and place. Um, Homo naledi looks like it should be two million years old. It looks like a mix of species like Homo habilis and Homo erectus and even some more primitive ones. It's got a little bit of things that look a little bit like Homo sapiens in it too. It only existed, and I know this is a long time ago, but 200 to 300,000 years ago. At least that's the date of those in the rise of Star Cave. Now, at that time, until we discovered Homo naledi, archaeologists, paleoanthropologists thought that only Homo sapiens mm. lived on the continent of Africa. And yet now we know that we shared this place with this small brain species. But as we discover more and more and more of Homo naledi, it's, it's already probably the best known ancient human relative species from Africa. Mm. And we discover more about its context it becomes increasingly strange. Right. So with that being said, Prof, then please tell us more about Leti. Uh, full name being Leti Mela. Um, and I understand that, I mean, uh, 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 it's a homo naledi child discovered in the rising star cave system. And 250,000 years ago, that could have been the time that Leti had died? That's right. Um, and we date her by, and this is, by the way, a, a little cast of the skull. Of her. We date her by... Um, the remains that are found about 12 meters away, 12 very difficult meters away in the Dinaletti chamber where we have dozens of individuals, adults and pieces of children, but never of course parts of a skull uh, and, and the dentition with it. Letty's unusual though. She's in one of the most remote areas of the rising star cave. And if you remember some of those extraordinary images from the original discovery of our underground astronauts passing through those vertical slots of 12 meters that were only 16 or 18 centimeters wide, well, Letty's in a worse spot than that. You have to get through all that. Then you have to go down into these areas that are 15 centimeters wide, this network, a spider web of passages. Mm. And there her little skull was sitting on a shelf about 80 centimeters above the floor. And it was just her little skull where it had deteriorated away. No bones of her body, nothing else. And I think the big mystery, besides the value of having a child's skull, which tells us about growth and development, and we understand how Naledi grew up, this strange species, but we also have to marvel at the mystery of why is there just a skull there? It does appear as if it were placed there. Yeah. And if it were placed there, then it was probably placed there a quarter of a million or so years ago by another member of her species. Mm. But this isn't a human. We'd understand why humans do that. We understand why humans do it all the time. They have throughout time, they put skulls, they look at their relatives and they care about them and they create mortuary practices. Right. But Homo naledi is not a human. And so we may be looking at a sort of ritualized practices related to death that we thought only humans did. And by the way, humans only did that sort of thing 150 to 200,000 years wow. after little Letty Skull was there. Listen, Prof, I wish we had more time because this is a history lesson on its own. And if there are any matriculants right now who are writing history anytime soon, they'd better have watched uh, this conversation. So exciting. <laughs> wish we had more time with you, Prof. But I have to leave it there. Uh, Prof Lee Berger, exciting discovery that you've made. Thank you so much for sharing with us this very morning. I wonder what subjects you need in matric to become a paleontologist. Anyone watching at the moment going, I want to be like Professor Lee Berger. I wonder oh what you goodness. study. I would imagine geography, history, biology. Of course. Hopefully not maths. Then people like me can you know, have a shot at being clever. <laughs> Always a good